question i am ks mani melma chairman the purpose of our visit as uh, chairman uh, told you initially in the welcome address that from kerala ministers and uh, a team of officers uh, along with uh, uh, melma chairman and md has come down here to see a farmer producer company how it works when we came here and uh, saw the activities of this sangam dairy we found that very impressive and this uh, organization is doing extremely well for the welfare of the farmers in this area they have developed a lot of products and they have been doing extremely well under the dynamic leadership of our honorable minister shrimati j sinjurani the animal husbandry and the dairy sector in, the, in kerala is flourishing very well a lot of assistance to the farmers are given uh, unprecedentedly this term so that the farmers are getting a lot of benefits uh, in kerala kerala perhaps you know you will be knowing that in the kerala is the highest milk value state in the in the country we are giving the highest price to the farmers but again the problem is you know the highest production cost is also in kerala because in as far as uh, cattle feed is concerned almost all raw materials we have to get it from outside kerala so the cost of production is also very high. perhaps you may be aware that you know kerala is also the second highest productivity uh, uh, state in uh, uh, india the first being punjab the second uh, largest productivity is in kerala uh, cost of production is very high we wanted to explore the possibility to discuss with the sangam dairy to have a tie up for uh, this uh, fodder especially a uh, silage they are manufacturing in a large quantity in a better quality silage we are working out the possibilities of supplying silage to our farmers in kerala we also saw and uh, discuss with your people that you know you have developed in sangam dairy a very good quality of uh, seeds for grass as well as vegetables that also it has been de- described and uh, displayed here we will explore the possibility of uh, getting the seeds from here and to give to our farmers to cultivate and to develop the product there. that for that part also we are thinking about we said earlier the cost of production is very high kerala government is indebted and uh, taking all ways and means to help the farmers in a larger way lot of activities are being taken recently we have introduced a direct uh, payment to farmers for rupees per liter by the government it is apart from the price given by melma <coughs> government is giving for rupees per liter to the dairy farmers and around uh, 280 crores rupees uh, for uh, the whole year has been uh, earmarked uh, by the government uh, budget and we saw in this uh, presentation here sangam dairy uh, apart from the uh, price given to farmers for procuring price last financial year they have given 52 crores as a additional price value to the farmers that is an added advantage as far as dairy farmers under sangan dairy similarly milma is also parting um, most of their profit out of the profit to the farmers last financial year around 50 crores we have passed on to the farmers as additional price pouring their milk because a couple of years last two years you know, we were suffering uh, because of this pandemic we had to suffer a huge uh, loss because of the conversion of uh, uh, milk powder but even then we could pass on 50 crores similarly sangam dairy is also giving their profit share to uh, farmers that will be a boon to the farmers also you are aware that you know the around 65 to 70 percent of our milk value is being utilized for the fodder expenses and the other second major expenses is for uh, medical expenses our kerala government has taken some very good initiative recently we are uh, ready to give 29 ambulances to the block in each block we will be providing one ambulance with the medical doctor also that will be very helpful to the farmers to get immediate medical attention at lower cost but here the visit outcome is you know whatever best practices in sangan dairy can also be impl- implemented in kerala if possible similarly we invited uh, sangam dairy chairman md and other official to kerala so that let them come and see the activities of milma and the dairy department as well as animal husbandry activities there in kerala and if you feel that some better activities which we, is being practiced in kerala that can be pra- adopted here also so mutual understanding and a mutual development for both of our activities that is also an agenda of today's meeting in the welcome come address uh, your chairman uh, 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 rightly pointed out uh, and we have in milma 
one of the unions uh, came out with uh, EVM medicines. First time in the history of India, one union is with uh, uh, coming out with the EVM medicine with the license of a drug controller. For eight diseases, we have uh, medicines and uh, uh, your people here, Sankan Diary people, agreed to see that that medicines can be utilized for the uh, uh, betterment of the farmer's treatment so that the price of treatment can be reduced considerably and there won't be any side effects. So it is very helpful. So they said that you know, they will also try to explore. Thank you very much for giving this uh, wonderful opportunity and the hospitality by Sangan Diary. And uh, thank you media people for sparing much of your time with us uh, to hear our uh, government's uh, ministry's uh, activities and uh, sparing uh, some time with us for uh, hearing our view. Thank you very much.